In this segment, we'll show not only how to move the tool head, but also how to adjust the speed, as well as set a new start point. When the cutter is in ready mode, the arrow keys can be used to move the tool head. Let's put the image of the control panel in the corner so we can see how the tool head reacts when the different arrow keys are pressed. The up and down arrow keys will move the media forward or backward. For instance, if the up arrow key is pressed, the media is retracted or moves backwards. Pressing the down arrow key will advance the media forward. The side arrow keys will move the tool head side to side. For instance, pressing the left arrow key will move the tool head to the left. And pressing the right arrow key will move the tool head to the right. Pressing two arrow keys simultaneously will move both the tool head and the media and thus create a diagonal movement effect. There will be times when you'll need to move the tool head at a slower pace, and this is when you will use the slow key. As we press the arrow key, notice that when we press the slow key, the tool head speed is significantly reduced. The slow key is particularly useful when moving the tool head to a specific spot, such as over a registration mark. Typically, once the tool holder is being positioned, it is generally for the purpose of starting a new job right at that point. And that's what the origin key is for. Once pressed, it will set the cutter's origin point or start point at the location of the blade holder tip. In other words, the next job will start at that point. The origin or start point will continue to be at that location until a new origin is set. 